Many people ask me when is it an ideal time to repot a plant and I tell them that the plant or the pot will tell you. So in this video, I am going to show you when to exactly repot a plant and check out my live example of how my aloe vera is looking. It's completely jutting out of the pot and the pot is also not able to take its weight. So this is the ideal time to repot a plant and this is not only aloe vera, it can apply to any plant in the world who is almost toppling off from the pot. Now what is wrong with this aloe vera? Nothing is wrong, it's just that the aloe vera has outgrown the pot. So let me show you how I am gently repotting it without damaging any of its leaves. And I think this aloe vera is also being overwatered and it has some lovely pups attached to it. So first I'm removing the pups, which is actually an aloe vera plant in itself. Okay, so this was very, very easy. The plant automatically came out. And so did some of the leaves which have been overwatered by my ignorant maid. And these leaves are damaged and the soil looks very, very moist. So let's, let me just remove the plant from the pot and keep it down. Hmm. Now that I'm examining its soil, it's clearly a problem of overwatering and the aloe vera uh, is a desert plant and uh, it doesn't require such a wet soil at all. So how to solve this problem? I am going to mix a little bit of dry soil into this extremely wet soil. Now let's get ahead and do that. First of all, I will dig in and remove all the extra wet soil. And I'm just adding, because this is a good mixture, I'm adding a little bit of dry soil to it. Now this is how I'm adding dry soil, simple. But I have to add more. Now we have added a lot of this uh, dry clay soil to it. And this dry soil is actually so dry that it is forming clumps of the soil itself. Like it's become too too dry. So just separate out these rocky structures and eventually because this soil was a very very wet this is going to get dissolved in that soil eventually. Now what we are going to do is I'm just going to take out some of this soil into this pot and then place my aloe vera in this soil. So let me just take it out. And now I can feel that, you know, the soil is not that wet. I'm almost going to take out half of the soil. And I think I will still need to add a bit more of the dry soil to this so that my aloe vera roots don't become very, very soggy and eventually get dissolved. When it comes to gardening tools and equipments, I do not have any kind of fancy tools and equipments. I just rely on a scissor and a knife to do all my gardening things. And also I don't use gloves, which I think I should rectify. <laughs> so now I have prepared this soil here and I have added a lot of dry soil and a bit of uh, compost in it. And my preparation is ready. So I have filled almost like very little of it one fourth of the pot and now I'm just going to place my aloe vera directly. Now while before placing the aloe vera uh, there are some of the aloe vera leaves which have been totally uh, there is no word for it they have totally become soggy and it's like a mushy mushy mixture. I just first remove them because then they will start rotting. Ah. 
yeah it also smells disgusting okay it smells really disgusting and i'm going to just chop off this leaf because you know eventually it's going to get in the way we can you also use a scissor and just cut it off always cut the aloe vera leaves right from the bottom once i made did this mistake of cutting the tops so this is how you cut it now this stem looks fresh and remove the extra covering because again this is going to get soggy and i think people who can tolerate kidas or insects and a bit of wobbly smells can only get into gardening otherwise you know if you're scared of kidas and stuff then i think gardening is not going to be a pleasurable activity for you okay i'm swiftly placing the aloe vera and digging up some more of its soil because i think that its roots need to go down Ah, oh, my hands are cleaning. Just placing the aloe vera here, and now I'll be adding soil to it. Okay, I think I need to support this aloe vera with a stick as well. But for now, I'm just keeping it like this. Yeah, and adding a bit more of the mixture. that i have prepared again i am not going to water this aloe vera and i have given strict instructions to my maids not water this aloe vera for the next 15 days at least extra plant free 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 i just place it back into this and allow it to grow simple done How did you like my report with me series and here I have reported a giant aloe vera in the next video I'll be showing you how to report a fern which can be really really tricky but it's my most favorite plant in the world hence I am showing you how to report a fern and there are many more series coming up so do subscribe to our channel do drop us a like do drop us a comment because that will keep our channel glowing and growing Bye happy planting